Pastors and false teachers shall arise. It's one of the challenges of the end time and in the hour that we live. Many deceivers and false teachers will rise. Matthew 24, verse 11. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Second Peter chapter 2 and verse 1. But there were false prophets also among the people. Even as there shall be false teachers among you. They come in their numbers. Verse 2 of it. Many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And through covetousness shall they with fain words make merchandise of you. A number of ministers around the world are merely gospel merchants. If you have this crowd of people and they give just them five dollars each, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. <laughs> and then you come to the church, you start prophesying to secure the five dollars per person. <laughs> if you want to be hit instantly, make it ten. <laughs> you want God's hand upon your life on the spot like you see on my life? My God, make it twenty. You want to ride the storms of life without any stress? A hundred dollars. <laughs> and they know, inside they are knowing. <laughs> that is all games. They know within they are knowing. There is falsehood. Because they are not in the covenant. So the only way to get through is to take advantage of people. We don't have them in this family. Come on, give the Lord a big hand of praise. We believe in the dignity of the gospel. The day I will take advantage of any man for Christ's sake who make me on the earth. Grace has helped me to this point. I can't sell off at this point. That I will come to you and paint a picture to assess your pocket. No. One of my friends was taking an offering here years ago. And I said, shh. Very great friend has a lot of insight in the word of God. But no, no, you don't need money to assess my blessings. God told me this morning, I'm not asking you to give because I'm in need. I'm never in need. I'm asking you to give so I can meet your needs. Come on. <laughs> will God ever be in need? If I were in need, will I call you? Are you in my in the class that I will consult? That hey. David, I have a needle. I said, what about? Ten nations are in trouble. I need to sort them out. Can you help out? I said, help you. <laughs> no. Uh, you and I are not in the class that God will require to consult. If you ever had a problem. The thousand rounds upon the thousand is their mind. He said, I'm not asking you to give because I'm in need. I'm asking you to give for me to meet all your needs. 
are going to my riches in glory. So you are not giving to me money. People want them to believe they are giving to meet God's need. I'm a, it's an insult. It's an insult on your God. It's an insult on your God that God needs me to be God. Abba. So who will make me to be me? God will never need any of us to be God. We need them to be what grace has programmed us to be in him. So when you give, don't give as meeting God's need. No. He said, which house are you going to be for me? That you are now bragging. Which house will you be for? Oh, this is my man. My hand has made. Oh, my hand has made. Until this man will let the man that has a contrary spirit who trembles at my word. There is nothing you give to God to cajole him. Nothing, sir. Nothing. So relax. Relax yourself. You know, today people say, I bind to the anointing. Don't you read chapter 8 of us of the apostles? Your money perish with you. They don't buy with money. Somebody is somebody's free tonight because uh, if you don't build yourself, the enemy is not the problem. It's our own carelessness that's taking advantage of. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When the silver will rise, they bring their numbers. Titus chapter 1 and verse 10. There are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially day of circumcision. It's not new. First Timothy again, chapter 4, verse 1 and 2. Now the Spirit has expressed that in the later days some shall depart from the faith, giving it to seduce spirits and doctrines of devils that have no basis in scriptures. Speaking lies and hypocrisies, having their consciences seared with a hot iron. Dead consciences. Finally, number five, many shall be offended and give up on God in this hour. If God would do anything, he should have done it by now. I mean, by now he should have done it. I understand by now he should have done it. The problem is that they don't understand what you're going through. Papa just say, give thanks, give thanks. Like, can I give thanks on this kind of thing? I can't give thanks. Hmm? I think people should be talking to Papa himself to know that we are going through something. Can't be telling us to give thanks. Give thanks for what? I'm not giving thanks. <laughs> Let God do his worst. I preached a message.